Well, hello from eDemocracy here at the Media Learning Seminar hosted by the Knight Foundation down in Miami. This is our booth here at the at the expo, next to other folks here from Razoo and uh, the Community Information Toolkit from the Knight Foundation next door. So uh, we're talking about Neighbors Online today. Uh, this is our outreach team from the summer. We had a Knight grant, or we have a Knight grant. Uh, hired 10 people working 15 hours a week who spoke uh, six languages and went door to door and the community festivals to create online neighborhood forums. Uh, we've been doing this for now 19 years, but at the neighborhood level for the last four or five, and the idea is to connect people uh, from all kinds of diverse backgrounds who are neighbors, all in the same space. So we have here a map of ethnicities and races in St. Paul, and these are the official uh, city uh, district boundaries, district council boundaries, and we try to create public online spaces that are inclusive, that reflect that diversity. So here we have uh, some of our team members last summer, Donna Evans here, still works for us doing outreach really with the African American community. Door-to-door uh, -door was key because it brought us out to people where they were. Community festivals are awesome, but those folks are more community-oriented, to be honest, and are out there. Uh, had luck doing outreach at soccer matches with the Somali community in particular. And we even had a whole bunch of 11- uh, and 12-year-old uh, baseball members from a public housing complex-based uh, youth baseball team. And there's their coach, Vang, worked for us, and they would translate in the doorstep in the Hmong. Not everybody's household was uh, ready for us to come in, although ironically, uh, Donna was telling me, though they didn't knock on the door, they followed the, the signs instructions. When they were at a crime prevention meeting, they met the guy who lived in that house, and he signed up for his neighbors for him. Um, here's our old town hall from uh, actually 1996, made by a local architecture firm in the Twin Cities, and this is our launch picnic for our summer of outreach. We were at the Somali American Independence Day in Minneapolis, and there's a Native American Somali alliance there that was connected. This was a festival, not a festival, this was a, a, uh, a rally in response to a sexual assault in the park in Powderhorn a number of years ago, about three years ago, um, and it was organized on the forum. And National Night Out, it's a great night. Well, here is a, a photo that was shared from one of the National Night Outs on one of our forums, uh, communities coming together. And the key thing about local connections online is that uh, you can connect, but you can also meet each other in person. So we have here at our table uh, our sample flyer. We also have a version of this in Hmong. Um, and these would be what we would give out door to door, very simple little flyers. We offer, as an organization, some uh, fee-based consulting services on online civic engagement, and uh, we'll host online events and the like. Um, we're not typical social media consultants. We actually would help you to do things inclusively. That's our specialty. And we're working with different, uh, hi there, with uh, different online uh, efforts to share our knowledge. Uh, we're planning an online course. Uh, we'll come into your community and launch you. And boy, if you have a lot of money and really want to go big, you let us know. We'll talk about it. Here we're sharing some stories about, uh, there's a great story about how someone had eight pans of lasagna to, to bake in, in, in the morning. Uh, and she did realize for, for a funeral that she couldn't do it uh, uh, in her own house and within 45 minutes of posting to the forum, all eight pans were in neighbors' uh, ovens helping her out. And so take a look at that. Uh, here's some of our results from the summer of the 4,000 new people, 1,000 roughly online. Oh, yes, and we have salted nut rolls from St. Paul. Take as many as you like. There they are, St. Paul's homemade candy. But a real, a real important way to connect people uh, is to reach them where they are. Um, and then finally, here's our secret, or almost finally, here's our secret uh, technology, the paper sign-up sheet. Um, and actually, lastly, well, everyone loves a picture, right? So there's the launch of a community garden. That The idea came from the local forum. This is Kwame. He is our forum manager for Rice Street. Uh, he, uh, sorry, for North End, and he works at the Rice Street Library. These areas are the most diverse areas of St. Paul, so we targeted in lower income as well. We target a lot of our door knocking in those areas. Uh, there's a small American uh, Independence Day festival, notably a, a Latino family doing the face painting in the booth right next door to us. Sharmake was our, our, our East African Somali outreach lead and some of his friends who volunteered. This is at Rondo Days. We did a lot of outreach uh, like this at, tab at booths at community festivals, going door to door here at Among um, a, a dual language uh, church. Um, two of our members, team meeting, going out into the field. There I am, that's me, and my son Liam uh, helping out at Highland Fest. Here we are, Cinco de Mayo outreach in the rain. These are a whole bunch of our volunteers and uh, also 
we call them forum managers. Every one of our forum has a local volunteer, as well as some of our, our, our past contractors. And they'll help us out on projects, Island Fest. This is a great community bulletin board. This is what you have. All this kind of stuff you would see at your local park building, in this case, on the bulletin board, are things that we have. And there's the team one more time. Oh, i got a couple more things here. Here we go. This is what the home page looks like for a group. Um, pretty basic. Uh, I joke that we're the Craigslist of uh, online neighborhood connecting or online engagement. Uh, it's ugly, but it just works. We actually want it to look a lot better than that, um, but it's a mix of email and web. We actually also feed our forums onto Twitter and to Facebook. So we use open source group server technology, email, web, web feed, Twitter, Facebook. We reach you where you are. Our outreach in Cedar Riverside in Minneapolis uh, here at National Night Out a couple years ago. One last picture from the Somali Independence Day. Uh, so, oh, and I got one more photo here. This is our Native American outreach lead from uh, two years ago um, in Minneapolis. Uh, Deanna did an awesome job. Uh, recruited 100 people, primarily Native Americans. So there we go. Oh, we have T-shirts too. So everything you could ever imagine, all together here from eDemocracy at the Knight Foundation's Media Learning Seminar. Come on by.